This piece of pumice probably uh, weighs around 20 tons. It is huge. But this was created about 8,000 years ago. 8,000 years. Somebody stood right here, right here, and with a really dense rock in one hand, chiseled into this rock face. All of these designs. This isn't scratched, this is chiseled. Some of the uh, petroglyphs in the uh, volcanic tableland area, I've seen them go as deep as a quarter inch, maybe half inch, chiseled into the rock face. <laughs> reason we can see the images is a geological phenomenon called desert varnish. Now the reason these markings stay for so long is you can see other varieties of rocks of the pumice that are really dark, almost black in color. As you see the background of this is black and when you chisel down far enough you get, you create the image. And the reason the image stays for so long is because it takes that long, it takes up to 12,000 years for the pumice to reoxidize to turn it back to its original color. The dark face is just the basic chemical reaction between the air and the red pumice. After 10,000, 15,000 years have gone by, you can't see any of them. The chiseled images are still there, but they're not as vibrant and you can't see them. I mean, they don't stand out like this. They're just, it's just the whole surface becomes black as the desert varnish takes control. As the desert varnish slowly erases these images from time. And that's another reason why I don't think anyone has ever cataloged all of these petroglyphs in the volcanic tablelands is these are easy to see. You can see these very vividly. It's the ones that's been here for longer than 12,000 years that you have to take really good photography with really bright light to bring out the contrast. This area is probably littered with other petroglyphs that we just can't see because they're so old, the desert varnish has reclaimed them from our sight. And, you know, to be frank, some of these old, old drawings, we may not know they're there, but they are existing fine on their own. And, and um, because maybe we don't need to know about them. From the site vandalism I have already seen here uh, in the Tablelands, including this site here, we don't need to know where they're all at. But hopefully, generations after me will be able to see these preserved because they are absolutely unique. I think this is an older site because uh, clearly there's a lot of carvings here that the desert varnish, the oxidation process has already occurred. But on some surfaces like at sundown, you can see some shapes still in the rock. So you see different images with different levels of brightness. Like these are very bright. There's some over here that's dim. So they may actually be older. So this wasn't, I don't think, created all in one day. This could have, this site here, the carvings on here could have been uh, created over a period of thousands of years. Why was this site so popular? Who knows? Is this a major game trail? Is the carving of Maybe an elk up there, uh, a sign of this is a good place to hunt elk. And this is uh, part of the uh, migration route still of elk here in Southern California. So this site is well preserved. It has been defaced. It has been vandalized. I can't even show you on YouTube what it is. But if you do come up here, don't vandalize the uh, artifacts. Don't mess with them. Don't do anything. And that's it from the burning hot desert. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on a channel, please. Bugs. Subscribe. And until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye.
Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 and blah. And done!